Hey, second graders, it's Father Brian O'Brien here in our parish church, St. Francis Xavier. I just want to say how much I miss you guys, and I cannot wait for your first Holy Communion. Uh, it's going to be an awesome day when you receive the body and blood of the Lord for the very first time. Uh, so today I want to just give you a little bit, a little lesson on what is the Eucharist. Now, I'm sure you've been at Mass, you've sat in these seats over here, you've been at Mass and you've said, I know that that's Jesus up there, but it doesn't look like him, it looks like bread. How can that be Jesus? So I want to show you the difference. All right, so we're going to walk back here, we're going back to the sacristy, and I know you guys have been back here a little bit, you've seen the sacristy. So I'm going to show you a very special drawer. Okay, here we are. All right, here we go. Can you see that? Do you see what that says? It says hosts. So what happens is in this drawer right here, oh my gosh, did you see this? Look at this. This is where we keep the hosts and they come in these boxes. They come from a company out in Rhode Island. And what we have here, all right, let's, these are, let me get this all opened up here. So what we have here, this is, this is just what the host looks like. But this is in the drawer. So we know this is not Jesus. This has not been to the altar. This has not been consecrated. It's not been turned into the body and blood of the Lord, okay? So, these go back in the drawer. We're going to use these sometime in the future, all right? So what happens is those hosts, they're just ordinary bread. We call it unleavened bread. It means that it hasn't risen. So it's not like a loaf of bread that you buy at the store. It's these little tiny unleavened bread. But then what happens is that unleavened bread gets taken and brought up here. It gets brought to the altar. And then when it gets brought to the altar, something very special happens. It gets brought to the altar and then put here. And then these words right here are said. Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you with those words those powerful words of Jesus that he said at the last supper on holy thursday with those words the bread changes into the body and blood of the lord now what happens, and what can get a little confusing, and this is true whether you're in second grade, or whether you're 44 years old like me, or whether you're 90 years old like some of our other parishioners, is it still looks the same, and it still tastes the same. But what we know is that it changes. The outside of it doesn't change. What we call the accidents, the outside, the, the taste and the look and the smell of it don't change, but the substance of it changes. And it changes so much that it becomes the body and blood of the Lord. And so what we do is we take any hosts that are left over and we put them in that tabernacle right there. Right here. We put them there. We reserve them there. And we put them there with that red candle. See the red candle right there? And what that says is Jesus is there. Now that's hard to wrap our heads around. But it's very, very important that everybody try to understand it. Even though it looks like bread and tastes like bread, when it hits that altar... And when those words of the priest are spoken, this is my body, this is my blood, 
that bread, it changes into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. And then that's what you all are going to come up and receive very soon. You're going to do that right here. You'll come up and the priest will say, the body of Christ. Notice he won't say the bread. He won't say this host thing that came from Rhode Island. No, no, no. The priest is going to say the body of Christ. And then you're going to say amen, which means I believe. So keep praying. Keep looking forward to that wonderful day when you all will be here at the church and receive your first Holy Communion. We cannot wait. I'm praying for you, and I ask you to pray for me. Have a great day, guys. God bless you. Happy Easter.